Hey, I'm meteorologist Doug Myers with the latest look at your forecast. It's a brand new week and it is going to be an active week. Let's take a look at it. 70s and 80s yesterday, everyone in the 80s today maybe getting close to 90. Certainly would not be surprised if we did have a isolated 90 degree temperature here and there across the area. But most spots in the mid to upper 80s. A few clouds early this morning as uh, we are monitoring a little bit of rain, maybe even a brief thunderstorm before sunrise, but most of that should continue to wind down once the sun comes up. So not expecting much in the way of any precipitation today. You'll notice that the humidity is going to be increasing through the day and continue to stay on the higher side tonight into tomorrow and uh, really for much of the week before we usher in a cold front towards the end of the week. In the meantime, southerly winds over these next couple of days could be gusting uh, near 30 to 35 miles per hour both today and staying breezy tonight and increasing again for tomorrow. So uh, watch out for those uh, strong southerly winds. Keep in mind that uh, if you do have any outdoor Halloween decorations, might be good to bring them inside this week as we are uh, looking for a fairly windy week ahead. It's not going to be extreme to the point of a wind advisor the way it looks right now, but that could certainly change. Looking at maybe uh, our wind gusts near 30 to 35 miles per hour for most days this week. In the meantime, lots of sunshine for today after a few morning clouds and then cl uh, rain will start to increase tomorrow. May end up being dry in the morning. We'll watch that. There may be an isolated shower or thunderstorm for the morning commute, otherwise increasing chances for the morning hours. A lot of the rain may stay south and east of the turnpike. We'll watch that, and we're going to have to take this weather pattern this week on a day-by-day -day basis with all of our rain chances. Here's a look at how much rain that is producing for the rain south and east of the turnpike uh, for tomorrow. And then uh, continuing with some rain, at least through the overnight periods of Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. Here's a look at uh, what the other computer models are indicating. And you'll notice that a lot of the uh, models are indicating the uh, southeastern portions of our viewing area getting the bulk of the rain. But obviously, we'll continue to keep an eye on the radar and fine-tune it as we uh, go on a day-by-day -day basis. But uh, rain is going to be with us almost every day this week. We um, are looking at... Obviously, it's not going to be an all-day washout tomorrow, Wednesday, or Thursday. But as far as the drier days are concerned, today and Friday look to be the drier days. Again, it doesn't look like it's going to be an all-day washout over the weekend, but it is certainly going to be chilly. Now, with that in mind, there is still some uncertainty on how cool it is going to be. Not only with the air mass that will be in place uh, with the differences in the computer models, but also if it's going to rain, that will also limit how warm it's going to be able to get. So, how much rain can we potentially get uh, with the European model indicating uh, many spots getting at least two inches worth of rainfall through next Monday? And the GFS uh, has, uh, let's see if it wants to bring up, there we go, it's taking its time there. But uh, not quite as much in north central Kansas, but many spots getting a couple inches worth of rainfall. So, an active weather pattern is expected, and it does look like uh, this active weather pattern it may continue. Looking at the uh, probability of below normal temperatures for the 6 to 10 day outlook and even the 8 to 14 day outlook. So, today looks to be the warmest day that we'll have in a while. So, if you're a fan of warm weather, this is your day. And uh, looking at the three to four week forecast period, Looking at uh, near normal uh, conditions, if you will, or equal chances of drier than normal and wetter than normal. So, what do you need to do this week? Check the weather every day for updates. And it is mostly going to be warm, but there is some uncertainty on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Right now, Halloween looks dry, but by 7 p.m., temperatures could be close to 40. And so for those that are looking towards uh, getting some last minute Halloween costumes, you may want to get one that will keep you warm. That's the way it looks right now. But until then, uh, all these showers and thunderstorm opportunities, good news is the severe weather threat is going to be very low to none, but lightning still in place. So keep that in mind. If you are caught outside in uh, some of the rain and storms in the area, remember, when thunder roars, go indoors. Have a great day.